Playoff fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Miami Dolphins. in the AFC Championship game. Off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. run and a first down that's putting what you practice into play that's excellent execution to get things started gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Uh -huh. back to Mixon on first down there's the stiff arm and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first one of the good things offenses did years ago was they lettered their gaps the same on each side. A gap between guard and center on either side. That's what you want to control when you're trying to run the ball up the middle. And why is that? Because typically you either have there a go, big nose guard in there in an odd front, three-man front, or you have defensive tackles that might line up in the A gaps trying to gain an advantage and get upfield themselves. If you can control that, it gives the back plenty of space to pick and choose where to go. And there, a great inside run broke the contact and got some space. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive oh, front. Right. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. Nice mix-up on the play calling, right? Establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come at them. Here we go. So first and 10 now from the 30. 11, 11. Uh -huh. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. 45 yards for him already. An excellent drive to kick off this divisional round matchup. That might be an understatement. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And a quick throw here. That's complete. 
A lot of work to get away and outside of the pocket, but no actual yardage there on the catch. It's second down. The things got a little dicey there as soon as he exited the pocket out to the left. And he ends up throwing it for no yardage gain. I don't know about you, but my high school coach, John Ford, if he saw a ball in the air and you got no yards out of it, there he would have had a stroke, okay? <laughs> because his, his opinion, that ball shouldn't be in the air unless something good was going to happen. Tuck it away, try and pick up something, or just slide and get down. Nothing good happened there, that's for sure. And the Bengals are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an go. early first and goal. Scoring first, so critical in the postseason. They've got it here first and goal. Mixon is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. Here we go, here we Back go. at the five-yard line now, second and goal. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Come on, ready? Just shy of the goal line at about the run. He'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. A very early decision to be made here. There is, and I think that because they're the home team, I would ride that wave a little bit, and I would gamble and go for it. Doesn't seem like it's optimal, but you're the home team. You'll get the support of the crowd all game long. Go get it right now. Put six on the board. 11, 11, 11. 11 Burrow going to keep it on the sneak. Try to wedge his way in there. No signal. I don't think he got there. He did it. They try the sneak, but not enough push. He doesn't get in. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. Yeah. Alert. Alert. Sneak it. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So a little more space to operate now, first and 10 from right around the 12. Back to Walker on first down. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. We'll stop there by Jay Tufele. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Six, six, bullet high. On play action, Lawrence. And going deep for Hill. And he fires one that's intercepted. Daxton Hill picks it off. So they took their shot. That was a pretty good heave, but in the end, the free safety is the one who comes away with the football. And two of the traits that you look for in a good free safety, range and decision-making. Both on display right there. And it didn't hurt that he's got a good pair of hands, too. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. On second down, here's Mixon. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one.
Gun, gun. Pass. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Touchdown, Bengals. Well, they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football. Wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They go play action with Lawrence. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Lawrence. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Sam Hubbard able to get him down for a loss of 11. And it brings up fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Thirty-five yards that time on the punt, and the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. On one, ready? So here's a first and ten at the thirty-eight. Play action. It's Burrow. He'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. Last week in that wild card win, only one catch, and now he's got his first catch here, and it's good for a first down. Mix it up the middle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 74 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Back to Mixon on second down. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Here we go. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Burl. Steps away to his left. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals go up by two touchdowns. Oh, 
Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They've got to be a little shell-shocked. Down double digits at home in the playoffs. Still in the first half. They've got to turn things around quickly. And he is going to lose yardage here. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, it's Walker. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Lawrence. They're going deep for Hill. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 70 yards. And the Dolphins are back within a score. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make our score 14-7. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here we go, here we go. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Not just getting sacks, but have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carping them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Here we go. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. throw here and that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete that could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track they've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half after that possession now they know that they can compete with this offense now on fourth down on is the punt team sending this one away a 40-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Dolphin football. Yes. 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence in put more points up on the board. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And he's going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And they'll begin at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going as they take over with exactly one minute to go. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw into tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Gun, gun. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now it's Burrow. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kevin Farley. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. And we'll see if that pick six looms large as this game continues because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. And you often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, really true to you because there's times when we see plays like that and all of a sudden the momentum jumps to that team side it deflates the other side and they never pick it back up and then things really go from there don't they? that's the thing for me we talk about momentum changes a play like that is the ultimate momentum change and now we're going to get a stoppage as yeah that looks like jackson who's shaking up the bengals drive about to get going now the ball backed way up so thinking with this amount of time on the clock probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Got him. He's got him in. Complete. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult on, throws Rick. for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. First down, here's Burrow. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, that's good decision-making right there. Understood down in distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. 
These playoff games have a tendency to be tight. You have to wonder if that missed field goal could haunt them later. Yeah, we're always looking for the key plays, right? The ones that we're going to magnify. Usually those happen in the second half or later in the game. This might be the key play of the game showing up here in the first half. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Win or go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the yeah. sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught, 11 on the field, those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Repeat of the last play, fighting Walker. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Lawrence to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Hoover. And he's going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Walker now at first and ten. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Sticking with Walker on second down. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. Here go, here go. On the ball. Play action. It's Lawrence. They'll roll him out right. He finds his man complete. It's Hoover. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. Rolling to his left. 
And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try for the first with Walker. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. They end up getting stumped twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Wait a second, they declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back. Here we go. Now let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, take the football. Always take the football. They will throw on first down with Burrow, escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Here we go. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. It's a room to maneuver. And out across midfield, down to the 45. 103 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this divisional round matchup. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Mixon with a first down carry. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. 
The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. Lawrence now off the bootleg, sliding out of the pocket. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Trying the left side with Walker. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers. But in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Lawrence will throw. He finds his man complete. It's Hoover. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 41-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So they'll come up in Bengals' territory now with a first and 10 at the 41. Lawrence. Rolling to his right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. Offense was moving him a little bit. Had him back on their heels. But they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here now is second and ten. Again from the 41. Now to the ground, here's Walker. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 46 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. That's caught Waddle on the left side. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy no. catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. A gear for Walker running right. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Now Lawrence. This is caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Walker, no signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. 
this is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you said, you don't want to get in the end zone too early here. No, not at all because you may leave an open. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Kenneth Walker taking it in from a yard out. And the Dolphins are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. Sanders on for the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Gun, gun. The Bengals drive about to get going. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. And they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many Here times. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now it's Burrow. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brian Burns flying in there and dropping him for the sack. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down, he might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. On two, ready? After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Here's Burrow setting up the throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Jalen Phillips in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. Well, obviously, Charles, this stage of the game, down two scores, they had to put the football in the air. Unfortunately, it gets picked off. And the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball downfield to his receivers. Unfortunately, it was picked off. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Ken Walker with his second touchdown of the afternoon. The Dolphins continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And a lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. 
And they knew this would be tough on the road divisional round, and that has certainly been the case with the deficit they face in this fourth quarter. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Left side to Lamb. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the 41, Burrow. Flush. Now Burrow loses the football. Well, I think a Bengal player was able to get in there. He was. And they'll keep possession of the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football. Lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. The Dolphins advancing in these playoffs. As we say so long, everybody.